right, guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So we have zero of five planets discovered, and it's peaceful, conflict, um, comfortable for the um, things. So let's go see if we can't find, discover a planet today. We'll see if we can't um, search out all the creatures and stuff. Alrighty then. Right, so I think we're in a brand new system, if I remember correctly. I don't know if we've been... I think we just traded. That's all we did last episode. So let's see if we can't find the nearest planet, which would be you, I think. Gold, copper, and... Let's go to that one. I don't think there will be much. It's a bladed planet. Yeah, we'll take a quick look. See if there's anything interesting. Might be something we can actually use. I'm not sure. There's no sentinels, so we'll see. Oh, hold on a second. I think we I know where what kind of planet this is. Um yeah, we could definitely do something like this. I think there's uh trophies on this planet, like the uh thing we just need to find them. I'm not sure what where they look like. Uh let's see here. Go that way. Because some of them, it should look different. Actually, let's go to our starship. We already have one, so we can just kind of search up the, um, yeah, there's one right there. Yeah, if we go to our thing, we have one that's uh, one of those shell things. Okay, but we can scan that out. And then we should be good to go. Uh, let's just see if we can't scan some other things as well. Free money and all.
So I did take a look at what we could discover. The flying creature is uncommon. There is also three underground creatures that are two are rare, one is uncommon. Um, honestly, caves are really hard to find in this game, so I'm not gonna bother too much with this particular planet. And the the, the bird things didn't even actually spawn, so um, yeah, we'll have to. Uh, Go to another planet so let's go to this one up here it looks like that one might be something we haven't discovered yet i sent no activity cactus flesh so it's a desert after being on something cold i might want to warm up <laughs> Okay, so let's go over here and we'll take a look at what um, it says infected dust bowl. So I'm not sure what kind of um, thing this is going to be, but we'll take a look. Uh, there's pyrite, salt, copper, uh, high sentinel activity. That doesn't mean that they're aggressive though. So we'll be able to go in there and take a look later. Or in a few seconds, I guess. Alrighty then. See if we can't find a place to park. Might just have to land somewhere, hope for the best. Uh, you know what we haven't found in a very long time is a uh, starship. Like one of those crashed ones. Ooh, this is an interesting planet. It's actually quite red. It looks so gray on the outside, but you get closer during the day and stuff, and it's like bright red. All right, so let's um, are those bones? Let's go in for a closer look. Maybe a plant or something. They almost look like rib cages.
So I, I don't know if I'm technically still moving or not because there's actually no way to really tell, but it says on that screen right there that I'm going uh, zero units a second. So what I'm assuming is these planets actually move because we're actually getting closer to it and yet we're not moving, so it says. So unless it's like micro units that we're moving or this planet actually is moving. I'm not sure if that is actually possible in this game, but it's, it seems like it is. And if we look at that one, let's just take a look at that one. It kind of looks like it's moving too, doesn't it? Feels like it's moving. And it says kiloseconds, but it's not saying that it's moving because we're not close enough to it because we would have to see the, the units, not kilo units or whatever. So I'm thinking that these planets are actually simulated properly, like actually go around and stuff. Uh, the only other game that I know about that does this is a 2D game, which is a lot easier to render, um, called uh, Starbound, and their planets kind of cycled around, but it was just more of an image thing. Uh, to move a planet like this would be, like, huge for performance, so I'm not sure how they are managing to actually move it while you're still on it and stuff. That's actually kind of cool. But, uh, again, I don't know if we're moving. I don't know how accurate that screen is, so <clears throat> uh, if we are technically moving a little bit close to it, then that monitor, that that little icon right there in the center of my screen isn't correct, but I'm just kind of waiting for the the uh, storm down there to actually cease because we need to go on this planet. But it, before we got here, it kind of became a <laughs> storm. So um, yeah, I was just chilling up here, and then I noticed that there was, uh, we were actually getting closer, and it said that we were zero, so I thought I would just kind of show you that, so. Yeah, but it's a violent planet. Most likely it's, um, uh, volcanic or something, uh, probably really hot. That's why I don't really want to go down there at the moment, because there wouldn't be anything I could really do, so. <laughs> well, we'll go down there in just a couple minutes, but once the storm clears... Uh, it says arrives in four hour, four minutes and 56 seconds. So if it is moving, it's moving very.
So the last two creatures are underground and... Oh, excuse me. Uh, one is uncommon and the other one is common, but I can't seem to find any caves anywhere around here. So I've traveled quite a bit of distance from the... Um, that little outpost and I honestly don't think there will be able to find any caves anywhere. <laughs> Uh, I'm not seeing anything come up on the radar, so chances are it's just not a good area for it, but it's also very hot, so probably just going to go find a new system, uh, not waste our time too much trying to find all the creatures in that one. But we did find um, seven of the nine, which isn't too bad, but next episode we'll definitely go ahead and... Uh, what do you call it? We'll um, travel to a new system and we'll explore some planets, make some trades. Uh, one last thing that I want to do though is go ahead to go to the space station and pick up some of the resources from there. So we'll go ahead and we'll go that way very quickly and then we'll go pick up some of that stuff. Uh, next episode when we um, are ready to leave so we'll be able to do that in just a couple seconds i'll just park at the uh space station so it's a little bit easier for us to um get the stuff but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out